today's video, we're going to be going over what I believe to be the best base play in college football 25, best power play. This is going to be Corner Strike out of the Oregon playbook. What makes this play so good is it has a lot of unique routes. Pretty much every route on this play is pretty much unique. You have this nice rounded, sharp cutting in route to the running back that's going to be able to beat main coverage. You have this kind of C route, solo wide receiver C route, which is really good for attacking both man and zone coverage. You have this little kind of inverted dig route that's really good. You have a kind of a unique flat route to the tight end that's going to run more like a slant out. And then you also have this outside breaking corner route. Now, this corner route is a very unique corner. Uh, as you can see, if I were to put a hot route master corner out here, this is going to cut a little bit more. It, it cuts a little bit different. And so with corner strike, this is a sharp cutting corner, which is really, really good for attacking man coverage. So I'm going to show you kind of a, a little bit of a play here. So we're just going to go up against like just a basic press man. And I want to show you this outside corner route and kind of how this works. What you can see here is he's going to get pressed, and sometimes he will get separation. Like right there, he actually got pretty decent separation, but he does not always get that separation. The cool part about this corner strike corner is because it is a sharp cutting corner route, it's one of the most consistent man-beating corners in the game. You're going to see he's always going to get that little speed burst cut, and as you see there, he's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And not only do you have that run against man coverage, but I'm going to show you a setup here that is super simple but also very effective. The easiest way to run this play in college football 25 is simply streak your slot receiver and snap the ball. What you're going to see from the solo receiver is you are going to get a high-low read between your running back and your C route. One of the things I absolutely love about this game is how good the underneath passing is in this game. Now, not only do you have good underneath routes, but this C route is going to get a really nice pocket against that cover four or cover three coverage. So what they're going to be forced to do on that left side is they're going to have to run cover two. Now, if they do run cover two, we have corner routes to both sides. And so what can potentially happen is the slot corner can actually burn that. I'll show that real quick. Let me show that one more time. So you see here, I'm going to run this cover two coverage. And again, all we're doing is streaking the slot receiver. And sometimes this slot receiver, you'll see he'll get kind of a step on that mid read. And you just freeform this up into the inside. And this could be a one play score against cover two. Cover two is a super hard coverage to bomb on a bunch this year. So you're able to do that with a setup like this. Now, another thing that you have going for you is let's say that they do get into some, some cover three or some uh, cover four coverages out here. Then what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to work this high-low game on the right side as well. As you see right there, because we have that sharp cutting corner route against this coverage, this sharp, co sharp cutting corner route is going to do a really good job against both curl flats and cloud flat zones. And so you can kind of put this in a soft spot against the zone coverage. The other thing that I want to say real quick is that if they are playing any kind of curl flat coverage, take a look at this tight end corner or this tight end little slant out type flat route. Super good route, going to get good separation for you. And all around, this is one of the best plays in the game. It's a very simple high-low reads all over the field. You actually have a high-low read in the middle of the field that we didn't touch on yet. Um, basically, this streak is going to pull back these yellow zones. These yellow zones really drift pretty badly this year. So what you want to do is you want to check down to that little underneath running back route. Again, I really want to stress the importance of being able to work the C route on the left side. And then if they do run cover two coverage on you, you always have the potential to be able to take the top off the defense with this simple slot receiver streak. So you're going to see here again, this is cover two. And also, you always want to look. This corner route is normally open as well. So there's just not a good way to defend this play, honestly. And it's a super simple quick snap. Literally one adjustment and go. You don't need anything special for this. This thing is super good. You see here, that's a basic cloud flat that's going to get over the top of that. So they're going to have to mabel on both sides. And once they have to start doing that, it's going to really open up your entire offense. The other thing we didn't really get into is man coverage, but you do actually have some really cool reads against man coverage. First and foremost, the running back route is probably one of the best, uh, best man beating routes in the game this year, being able to just consistently beat man coverage. This tight end route also often is going to get a little bit of a natural pick and rub. And it's like a speed cut. Like I said, it's like more like a slant out and it can beat man coverage too. So this play just attacks the entirety of the field, which is super rare in this game to have plays that really attack the entirety of the field. You're able to pretty much attack left side high-low, right side high-low, a deep middle, and, a, and then an underneath middle read. So love this play. This is probably my favorite play in the game right now. And if you guys want to check out my entire Oregon Ducks offensive ebook, we have several different versions uh, or several different offensive – as my running back gets completely stuck in the backfield – we have several different versions of the ebook uh, available or of, of other formations as well, not just bunch. We have uh, a trips ebook. We have 
a bunch tight in ebook that we're going to be dropping. If you're not in the school community, the cool part about the school site is you get access to everything. So you get all of the ebooks just by being a member over there. And it's only $10 to sign up. You're going to get all of my Madden stuff, all of my college football 25 stuff, literally everything for just $10. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you guys want to check it out. Again, school.com slash Cody Ballard is where you can go get the ebook.